Have you ever seen a giant steel puzzle like this? It's a substation, and there are over 530 of them in Quebec. No two are the same, and each one has its own name. But what is a substation? What role does it play in the transmission and distribution of electricity? A substation connects parts of the power grid that aren't at the same voltage level. Voltage is the difference in electrical potential between two points, and it's measured in volts. If there's no voltage, there's no power. The substation's main role is to raise or lower the voltage level of the electricity before it reaches our homes. It also directs the electricity by determining the route it will take to reach its destination, and it protects the grid. The voltage of the electricity varies as it makes its way from the generating station to our neighborhoods. Over long distances, the voltage can reach up to 735,000 volts. That's extra high voltage. But at home, our appliances and devices operate at 120 or 240 volts. That's low voltage. On its journey, the electricity stops at several substations and changes voltage. Substations adjust the voltage of the electricity as it moves from the generating station to our outlets. But what happens in a substation? Electricity enters through flexible conductors, which are cables supported by towers. In the substation, it passes through bus bars, which are usually large, rigid conductors. A voltage transformer measures the voltage, and a current transformer measures the intensity of the current in amperes. Next is the breaker. It protects the grid and the equipment in the substation by automatically cutting off the power when there's a problem. It can also be opened and closed manually for maintenance, for example. It's like the circuit breakers in your distribution panel at home. There are different models, but they all serve the same purpose. The disconnect switch is a huge switch. It's easy to see if it's open or closed. It's used in different places to disconnect equipment from the grid or provide an alternative path for the electricity. The disconnect switch is essential to keep people safe. This is the power transformer, the heart of the substation. It's inside this giant green box that the voltage is raised or lowered. Here, the transformer lowers the voltage from 315,000 to 25,000 volts. Not far from the transformer are the surge arresters. They protect the transformers from overvoltage. When there are lightning strikes or switching operations, they send the electricity towards the ground. And on the ground, there's a grid of metal wires. It's a safety device that protects the entire substation. This grounding grid disperses the electricity downwards as a safety measure. As it leaves the transformer, the electricity is guided to more bus bars, breakers, and disconnect switches before moving to its next destination. At the last substation in the transmission system, electricity leaves through underground or overhead cables. That's the final stop before power is distributed to various neighborhoods. To make sure Hydro-Quebec can monitor and coordinate everything that happens in the substation, all the equipment is connected to a control and protection system that's housed in a control building. Most of the time, the operations are automated and carried out remotely. That's why it often seems like substations are empty. Hydro-Quebec crews only go there to carry out certain switching operations, maintenance, and repairs. But don't be fooled. Substations may look like quiet places, but there are risks of electrical injury and even electrocution. No one should ever go near a substation or try to enter one. Only Hydro-Quebec crews can go inside. They know all the substation secrets and always wear the right personal protective equipment. Now, the next time you see a substation, you'll know what goes on inside. It won't seem like a puzzle, but rather like the place where electricity makes some important stops as it makes its way from the generating station to our homes.